Hello, my name is Alan Jackson and I'm the Customer Support Manager at CyberOptics Semiconductor. And at CyberOptics we make the wafer sense line of wireless wafer-like metrology wafers. Uh, among our wafers that we've put out over the years is a leveling wafer, vibration wafer, precision teaching wafer, gapping wafer, and today I'm going to introduce to you our newest uh, in the line of wafer sense, it's the APS particle sensing wafer. Uh, the way APS works is it consider it a bench top or a handheld uh, atmospheric particle counter uh, shrunken down into the wafer format. It's got a fan, it's got laser detectors inside, it blows the air through, it counts the particles and uses Bluetooth wireless communication to communicate out uh, the particle data from deep within the tool and sends it to your application software and records it and monitor for monitoring. Uh, moves through the tool like a wafer. It makes your particle qualifications quicker, pre-qualifications quicker, identify particle problems uh, in real time, uh, and just in, in basically more tool uptime. Some of the features of our APS, it's uh, carbon fiber housing. It's light, so it can handle like a wafer go where the wafer goes. It uh, comes in 200 and 300 millimeter form factors. All wafer sensors are 200 and 300 millimeter. Uh, 200 millimeter APS is 200 grams, 300 millimeter APS 270 grams. It's thin. It's uh, about 8 millimeters thick and uh, runs on uh, Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, 32, and 64-bit. Some of the specifications of APS include a uh, 0.1 cubic foot uh, of flow rate per minute. Uh, we have two models of APS. Uh, uh, the standard model is, uh, the, the most popular model I should say, is 0.1 bins and 0.5 uh, particle bin sizes and also we have one uh, 0.3 and one micron bin sizes. Uh, operating temperature or operating pressure I should say is 0.1 atmosphere to 1.6 atmosphere and also the operating temperature it's calibrated for for accurate particle counting is uh, 15 C to 45 C. Uh, APS will run approximately one to one and a half hours on a single charge. So what I'm going to do now is uh, uh, fire up our APS. So I've uh, plugged in my, my link box, I've turned on the wafer, I've launched the application software, uh, in this case particle view, so now I've started it. You, hear, you might hear the fan going now. So what it's doing is it's uh, taking and reading particles here in room atmosphere. You, you see our reading here, we're getting on the order of uh, 250 uh, particles per second. A, a number of display options, we can do density, frequency, we can change an averaging interval, uh, we can adjust the vertical scale. But over here, you will see our differential in cumulative counts in, in both the 0.1 and 0.5 micron bins. And also we have some uh, indicators here, pressure, laser, fan, Quinton's alarms, uh, battery status, etc. Uh, one of the more important features uh, of the particle uh, view software is, is annotating in real time. So uh, a typical usage of APS is to put it in your FOOP, run it through the tool to pre-qualify it. Check for particles. As it goes to each station, you know, you can annotate in real time. In this case, load port 1, load port 2, etc. You see the, the annotation goes straight into the log file so you know when and where the particles occurred. So now I'm going to put it in a more realistic environment. Um, this clean and charging case, I'm going to close it. Uh, APS should always be kept in a clean environment. This is only uh, logical because it's uh, 
precision particle device. So now that I've closed it, we'll, we'll shortly see uh, the particles start to drift off because we've, uh, inside the clean case, there's a filter and it's starting to, to basically scrub out the air inside of the clean case. So you'll see the particles dropping off here. So uh, in, in wrapping up, uh, so you af after you've made your tool qualifications, you've, you've created an APS data file. So what I'm going to do next here is uh, pull up the particle review software. I, I have a, a APS data file already loaded. This is an example of uh, a, a typical run. So, so I've loaded the, the uh, particle file from one of our tool qualifications. And here, door, open door, move aligner uh, into chamber A, chamber B, etc. You can I have it running pretty fast here, but you can see in this case very few particles. Oops, until we get here, uh, until we get to this, uh, this chamber, um, we, we've discovered some particles showing up. Uh, we, we suspect, probably in this case, uh, the, the door was being suspected. So we open and close the slit valve. Each time we open and close it, we see it generates particles. So there's an example of uh, 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 quickly identifying a bad chamber, where in the, this case of this tool, every other chamber was clean. Uh, basically, the um, benefits of APS over legacy methods, monitor wafers, handhelds. It is quicker, uh, reduce uh, or eliminate the need for partitioning, uh, use fewer monitor wafers, uh, and find particles in real time. And basically more tool uptime, fewer defects, uh, higher yield. Uh, in wrapping up, uh, a, an APS system is composed of the wafer, the clean case, the application uh, software, which is particle view and particle review, miscellaneous ca cables for charging, uh, the link box that goes into USB, and uh, it all comes in this nice uh, fab uh, safe uh, carrying case. Uh, for more information on WaferSense, and for the APS particle sensing wafer, please contact Cyber Optics Semiconductor Sales or Support. Thank you.